What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna play some ranked. Um, as you know, been not doing well on the ranked ladder lately. Uh, I have to string together a lot of wins to get back into the thick of things near the top of the ladder. I just can't find a deck that I'm consistent with. I mean, I think I'm uh, playing the deck well. I just don't think that. I feel like the meta is not stable at all right now because whenever like there's no deck that that doesn't have like big weaknesses to other decks. What I've been finding the most success with is Overdrive Energy, uh, or like Range Energy, whatever you want to call it. But it's not quite Range Energy because I do have a couple of Ether Pumps. So you know, it's, it's more or less Range Energy. Um, it tends to beat Growth a lot. Uh, but then it loses to like order if the order player has manganels because so many things are three health that manganels destroy this and it doesn't win quite quick enough to win like before that but i do usually beat growth and decay with this deck so but i, I lose to um somatic control with this deck but a uh, link will be in the description if you want to try it out yourself but you might not want to use my decks right now because I am pretty darn bad. I'm 1739 rated. You should ask one of these guys near the top for their decks. So I'll be back when a match is found. Match is found. Okay. Alpha Century. We go second, unfortunately. Um, at least we get to know what faction he is first, which we'll decide if I want to keep this in. If he's growth, I think I should keep it with the spark. He's energy. Uh, turn two spark is pretty good against energy because of the heart smongo, but he might play like a gun on it's on, and then I'm gonna like be like, ugh. And I don't have a three drop here, so I'm actually gonna mulligan. Ideal starting hand is a two drop, a three drop, and a burn. That's the ideal starting hand. And this is not the ideal starting hand. So I should have kept the last one. Oh well. Let's see if he's gonna have a turn two play. No turn two play, okay. Oh, now this is all of a sudden, just, just like that, turns into a good starting hand because I can go Smuggler and I can get a Storm Runner out and have a match needed in hand. Against Energy, I think Violent Dispersal is gonna be more useful than Thunder Surge, so I'll keep that. I want to keep these other these three scrolls in my hand: Storm Runner, Bombard, and Machinated. The Storm Runner, Bombard, and Machinated are probably the three scrolls that keep uh, energy range together. Okay, so you're gonna put that there. So, Storm Runner or Kenna? I mean, they could easily just get burned next turn, but I'll go with the Storm Runner. Storm Runner is probably stronger. And I have a machinated, machinated waiting for it. So here comes the burn on, man. Okay. Ugh, double bombard. That means I'll have to sacrifice the balance dispersal to keep this other stuff. Uh, let's get rid of the balance dispersal for scrolls. Now I wish I had that other Canonetta, but I mean, playing both of these guys this turn won't be too bad. Let's just fill up the board then. I'm kind of done if he starts getting like his bigger creatures on the board before me. I have to ramp up so I can go with an Oculus Cannon in the same turn as those scrolls. And I have already sacrificed some important scrolls. I don't want to sac. I want to hold on to the Bombards, but I might have to get rid of them. I was right, I said like get rid of them <laughs> uh, separately. Smuggler there, and if there's nothing in front of that, oh, okay, there's something in front of that. If there's nothing in front of that, I could have bombarded and just taken them down. Okay, good. There is a burn. That'll help me smash in. That'll help me ramp up, I mean. So let's get rid of the one in the middle. And good. Got a decent creature there. So let's see what Alpha Sentry can do. Oculus Cannon Overdrive here does not kill me. Sacrifices for scrolls. He is ahead in scrolls, but we have the same amount of resources. I have more units on the board, though. 
it would be really awesome if I can get rid of, uh, I have all three units attacking next turn without a bombard. So, I might be able to kill that hard smuggler. I would probably sacrifice, uh, one of my creatures to get rid of his smuggler. I would have to sacrifice it because most likely I can't destroy this oculus cannon. We'll see though. If I can top deck like a spark, that'd be, that'd be good. And I cannot... That forge... That forge... I can't, I can, uh... Can't really do good stuff with that. But I do top deck a burn. So I'll get rid of that. Don't want him drawing any scrolls. And get rid of one of the cannonettas. And I'll... Draw another scroll from the entire smart whole fate and Oculus Cannon because I have two bombards in hand. Oculus Cannon, nope, Forge. Okay. I have Ether Pumps in the deck because of Overdrive, but it's almost like you only want to have Oculus Cannon so you can always draw it with the Heart Smuggler. So let's see. Oculus Cannon Bombard. Oculus Cannon Bombard. I can. Let's see. Move you down. Forge dies. Deals two damage to you. You die, and this takes deals takes one damage. But then, you only have two attack. So this would be down to one health. Honestly, I think I might just Oculus Cannon Bombard, and both the Forge and the Oculus Cannon would survive. Let's do it. Let's do it. The reason I'm gonna do that. I have no bombard for the next turn, so I can just maybe finish up the job with the Oculus Cannon. And for him to get rid of mine, he would make up the bombard with his own Oculus Cannon. So, let's do that. And we are letting his Dust Runner attack. Oh no, his Oculus Cannon goes off. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um. So, maybe that wasn't so smart. Uh, I forgot about his Oculus Cannon attacking. Whoopsie daisy. And his thing up there gets. I, that was a stupid bombard. I immediately regret that. I for, I totally forgot about his Oculus Cannon attacking. There, I, I, I topped like another bombard though. So. Not too bad. I mean, maybe it was an okay play because I was able to at least get rid of that Dust Runner. Let's see what he does here. Unfortunately, at this forge will probably draw spawn a gun on zombies. Now that I realize that his Oculus Cannon will attack, if I bombard, no, I need I need stronger creatures on the board. I need to get that cannon edit down. Okay, let's get rid of the. Let's see, a bombard. Problem is this, yeah, this Oculus Cannon would survive. So let's scratch. I hope I can draw like a spark. No spark. Ooh. Stormrunner Bombard. Stormrunner Bombard can go here, and then I can take down that idle. Well, that's not. I mean, getting rid of this would be really nice. And I can take out the Forge. But then I lose two creatures. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Um. That is off the table. I'm just gonna hope. I could hope he has no Thunder Surge. I'm gonna run away a little bit. Play a Forge. And a Cannonetta. I'd rather have the Stormrunner to plop down with the Bombard. I only have two Bombards left in the deck. Okay, this is a pretty close MER versus MER match. For some reason, I'm ahead in resources and scrolls. Probably because of the Hard Smuggler. Just hitting those idols. He'll get resources from this guy, though. Hmm. I wonder what we're afraid of this turn. I don't think there's a play he could really make to really hurt me a lot. I think I'm ahead of this game. Cannonetta there. Is that it? Probably, probably gonna be it. Okay, 
that was it. So let's see, a Bombard, I think, should clear the board. Ooh, Overdrive. Um, I can move you down, that destroys you. Then I... Yeah, I move you down. Problem is I'm just playing, I'm going right into a Thunder Surge. <laughs> Which will hurt. Move you down, put you, and then I can Oculus Cannon Overdrive. No, I don't want to waste my Oculus Cannon. I'd rather just, can I clear the board without... I Storm Runner Bombard. Ugh, these, I wish these guys were on the same Stormrunner plane. Let's go to the Tempest Server, see what we draw. Another Bombard, wow. We have a lot of early Bombards here. Ugh. We have to get rid of this row. Okay. Well, I don't love that play. I'm playing right into a Thunder Surge. If he doesn't have Thunder Surge, we should be fine. Probably doesn't have Thunder Surge. He might, though. And that would hurt. Yes, 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 yes. Sacrifices for Surles. I don't love the Oculus Cannon being right in the middle there, but I didn't have another choice. A little locked up because of the structures around that part of the board. So once he draws the Thunder Surge, that'd be good for him. But with my with my bombard in my hand, I should be able to win the game soon, especially if I draw Machinateds. Um. So what's he? Is he gonna take out the Forge? Okay. Fine. That's okay. Really, because he because he didn't have Thunder Surge last turn, I think I'll be okay in this match. I should be able to win. Spark. Okay. Now. Hmm. A bombard. If I had another like gun on that, I wish I would bombard. But I can't take out this, that's the thing. Probably have to bombard this turn regardless. Let's get rid of the ether pump for scrolls. Ooh. That's what I needed. I needed a dust runner. I need something that can destroy this. So now I'll bombard here. Um Let's just space out in case of bad things happening. Oh, and I can play you. I don't know. I don't know if I like missed lethal there, but I don't care because that's a board clear. And oh no, actually the, the forge survives. Boom. But that's all through and bards down the drain. And I have to, but really the bombards are more for, once you have control of the board, the bombards aren't as important. Then you're just trying to keep creatures on the board. Okay, maybe a overdrive on that. Would take out both of them. No, okay. Uh, it's pretty darn good. I think overdrive is gonna be useful in finishing the game though um even though i'm actually gonna sacrifice the storm runner here i think because i have no more bombards i don't think the storm runner is that useful let's get rid of him double spark is good should i just run away and hope he doesn't have a thunder surge yeah, I'll do that. Even if he has a Thunder Surge now, it's almost like it's too late. 
Yeah, it really is almost like it's too late if he has a Thunder Surge now. Because, uh... I would be able to win almost like the next turn. And he sacrificed for scrolls. Are we gonna get surged? We might. So if I can't win next turn, I might just use like a double spark on this Oculus again to be able to move up. That's assuming my creatures survive here and I don't get thunder surged. I have an overdrive and a mash engine in hand. Oh, I moves now. Is he going for a big bombard play? If it's storm, he's a storm runner bombard. That would hurt me. Oculus and bombard, bombard would hurt. Would hurt too. I don't think he has the scrolls to really like. Uh, uh, he's going with an Oculus. All right, so it looks like he's gonna bombard. He's going to try to do stuff. I'm support. Wait, why did he move down his Kinetic? No, he couldn't have destroyed this. Never mind. Okay, but at least my units attack. And is that game? Not quite. It. If I draw another machinated, it's a game. Sorry about the phone ringing, guys. Um, let's get rid of one of the sparks for scrolls. This is, there's another overdrive. Um, I'm almost tempted to go with a machinated and take out this idol. You know, I don't have a really better play, so I'm just gonna do that. Idle down. Because chances are, I'm gonna put a forge here to protect this oculus cannon. Because if he doesn't have a tick bomb or bomb dispersal, I probably can win next turn because, I mean, he would have to really fill up this board, fill up this lane to survive. So, that was a bit of a ballsy play by me, because he burns that guy. Um, yeah, you should probably have Spark and Gun on what's on in your deck. And that will be game. Goody, goody, goody. Can I have any way of doing other stuff? No. So that's why I kind of just left this at one health because I knew even if you put down two units in front of here, it would still destroy the, um, yeah, I run both spark and gun on on. So I got a good amount of, you get a lot of rating when you're low ranked. <laughs> 14 rating, pretty solid. So that's it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time.